Welcome to the Breakfast Time Broadcast with Victory Igori Ogagbon. The BFT Broadcast is a platform where we share God's undiluted word with you every Monday. My name is Avicii Adesua Igori Ogagbon. Remember, his word is light. His word is a lamp to guide us from sleeping. Victory Igori Ogagbon, the Breakfast Time Broadcast Convener and your host, who, alongside other servants of God, will be sharing from her experience in a bid to help you become your very best before God and amongst men through the ministry of the Word of God. God bless you all in the worship. Let's be in the mood of worship. Let's worship God in spirit and truth. Hallelujah. everybody welcome to breakfast time broadcast aka bft happy new week and a happy new month to you all in jesus name i welcome you officially to the second half yes the lord has brought us over to take over this is amazing how the lord did it is a misery sincerely i'm super excited i want to thank god for everyone permitting us to invade your space at such a time like this sincerely we do not take it for granted the lord bless you this is breakfast time aka bft you know, we come your way every Monday and we have other servants of God as the Lord gives us ability collaborating with us. Breakfast time has been running for over seven years. Yes, you heard me. Over seven years. The Lord is helping us. Gradually, we are coming up and the Lord in his mercy, we do the promotion by himself. Hallelujah. And I want to tell encourage you, please, if you've not subscribed to our video, at our page, please do so. Do subscribe to our YouTube page. Thumb up when any message blesses you. Leave a word of prayer for us. You know, by so doing, you are telling YouTube, I like this video. And they help us to do the publicizing. And please, you can also share with friends. Tell someone to tell someone. And I tell you, the Lord has been faithful. I want to thank God for his consistency, for that grace given unto us. Not to lose track, not to lose focus on the purpose for this channel. And that sincerely, I return all the praise to him. I want to thank every of our breakfast family. You know, this is our reality. We are loved. Wherever we find ourselves, whatsoever the matter is, we are loved, we are valued, and we are special. And this is what we carry around. We are loved. Hallelujah. You know, anytime I, I, uh, it, it, it dawns on me, anytime I remember that I'm loved, oh, I feel on top of the world. I'm loved by God. I'm valued. Hallelujah. So I'm not cheap. I'm very, very much valued, more precious than Ruby. Hallelujah. Because the one that bought it, you know, when you go and uh, auction something, so when the thing is maybe naturally people say it's a little pain, and somebody just come and say, I, I, I'm bringing 20 billion, 30 billion, the value of that thing just increased. So that's exactly what God has done to us on Breakfast uh, Platform. And every Breakfast family member knows that they are much more value. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to say a big thank you to our father who wrapped up the breakfast time broadcast for us last week, uh, Monday. Reverend Dr. Faith Agobo, the senior pastor of Church of God Mission, Asia uh, Zone, Japan. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you, sir. We love you. Thank you so much. And uh, Pastor Henry Matthew. Wow. God bless you, sir. The senior pastor of Emblem of God Fire Ministries, International Victoria Gaster, Spain. Wow, God bless you, sir. He wrapped up the Bible study. It was an amazing one. I tell you, the Bible study, I think, is one of our longest Bible study. Almost to three, we're still in the Zoom room. Questions were coming up. And he was so patient to give everyone an answer. The Lord replenish you in Jesus' name. I remember one of our guests said, it was the time. God honor you, sirs. 
God bless you in Jesus' name. My name is Avitria this way, Gori Ogagun. And by the sure mercy of the Most High God, I am your humble host. Before we pray, I want us to look at the scripture, Numbers 31 and verse number 49. This is what it says. It says, And they said unto Moses, Thy servants have taken the sum of men of war, which are under our charge, and there lacketh not one man of us. Hallelujah. When you read the verse number 50, and they came with an offering. Sincerely, nothing broken, nothing missing, because the Lord himself has guided us jealously into this new month. So let's lift up our voice in thanksgiving and thank God. Father, I want to thank you for the first half. Lord, we want to thank you for how you guided us jealously. Thank you, O Lord, for sustainability. Thank you, Father, for your presence and your amazing love. Lord, indeed, we are grateful. Thank you for everyone you used to make breakfast time for the first half his success. Lord, we return unto you in praise. Daddy, we commit this new session, this second half into your hands. We say, have your right of will in the name of Jesus. Walk in us and walk through us. And above all, we crave that you open our understanding, O oh God, unto the scriptures and help us to live the scripture practically in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Lord, we pray for the ears of the land and the tongue of the land. Help us to see, O oh God, and help us to hear you clearly. These are many more we pray with thanksgiving in Jesus' great and glorious name. Amen. Yes, the last month we talked about true riches. I remember a few months, a uh, few weeks to that wrap up. The Lord dropped this word in my heart. Genesis chapter number one, because of our time, because it's rarely spent. At Genesis chapter number one, I won't read verse 26 and 28. He told us how God created man. God said, let's make man in our image and in our likeness. And he began to say, this is what man is going to do. Man is going to have dominion. He's going to rule. He's going to rule. He's going to take care of everything that I have created. And above all, he's going to be in charge of refilling everything that is there you know he said replenish he's going to replenish the earth and when he got to verse 28 the bible say and the lord blessed them he told them be fruitful you know have dominion rule he began to speak and said replenish the earth not just only have dominion over the even the things are in the earth and everything have dominion rule then there is a specific mandate do the refilling when you see any of these things getting exhausted refill it hallelujah by the grace of god this new month we shall be looking at the topic blessed to be a blessing the bible says in the book of genesis chapter number 12 and when we read in verse number three the bible makes us to uh, understand something Abraham, through you, the families of the earth shall be blessed. I just picked the B part. Through you, the families of the earth shall be blessed. So blessed to be a blessing. God, from the beginning, has established a system, a system where mankind cannot, will not only dominate, but has been given the responsibility to replenish. Whatsoever is exhausted, whatsoever is supposed to be there that is not there, and you have, you, you are there, you can do it, then do it. Hallelujah. Replenish it. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Today, by the grace of God, I walk in the market sector, and I see at times people come to me and say, ah, ah, Vicky, please, do you, do you people in your shop, do you have this? I say, he's there in the shop. He said, no, I've gone there. There is a space. You know, that's not my job. I have there the, the are other people employed to go around the shop and begin to look at things that are reducing in numbers so that they can replenish it. They can refill it. Let's use the word refill it. And what is the word replenish? Replenish means to refill something that has been exhausted. You know, something that is has been exhausted, maybe due to use or it was not there for one reason or the other. And remember the Bible told us in Ephesians 2:10, it said. He said here, we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good work, which God afore prepared that we should work in it. In other words, replenishing, what I want to say tonight, replenishing business is God's own business and it is a good one. Hallelujah, it is a good one. Today there is so many things to replenish in our society. There are so many things to replenish in the house of God. There are so many things to be replenished in the family. But not that God has not made room for it but the people who are supposed to replenish it probably have neglected the business you know he said replenish the earth there is a scripture i saw in the book of psalm chapter 17 and verse number 14 he said from men by thy hands another version say men from men oh god are thy hands hallelujah and he said from men of this world who 
whose portion is in this life and whose belly thou fillest with treasure, they are satisfied with children and leave the rest substance for their babes. For their babes. Hallelujah. So the Lord has filled men, not of another word, of this world, he has filled our belly with treasures. And what, why did he fill it? He didn't fill it for our own personal use only, but to be able to, uh, to replenish that, that aspect of life where things are not working well. You know, the, the, the scriptures say, he, it is God that fills the, the bellies of men. And he said, of this world, men of the world, whose portion, men, there are men of the world. So God is not going to bring spirits to replenish the, the earth because the earth is not the spirit jurisdiction. It is for mankind. We are here. That is why he gave us the authority. Praise Master Jesus. You remember the scripture I just read in Genesis chapter 12. I want you to read verse 3b. He said, through you, the nations of the earth, the families of the earth shall be blessed. A blessed family produces a blessed church and a blessed church produces a blessed society. A blessed society produce a blessed world hallelujah so if every one of us is taking the business of god seriously there will not be shortage people will not you know uh, many times in the shop when a particular product is out the space is empty for a while the people swap for another for alternative Hallelujah. So that is why we try not to allow things to run out of stock that is the exactly what God has given to us today by the grace of god in this new month we shall be discussing this wonderful topic at such a time like this we are men thank god's treasure even for their unborn generation these treasures are not supposed to be thanked they are supposed to flow through us to other people so now men have begun to neglect the burdens in God, the burden of God, they neglect it. One of the burdens to replenish, make sure it does not run out of stock. So then many are, are out of stocks because self and greed are the others of the day. You know, where the blessed are extorting the people they are supposed to replenish. Yes, it is a glary picture in the society, in every sphere of life. But God will want us to talk about it at such a time like this. Yes, to every man, to every man, there are treasures in him. There are treasures in her. So this is the season where we allow love to flow, where we allow peace, where we allow joy, where we allow the financial resources that God has given to us to flow to others. It's not to encourage laziness. It's not to encourage idleness, but it's to bring up the business of God. The, it's a replenish replenish we see the society is so poor by the grace of god in the western world i base in europe you know you you, you are walking around the uh the, going out you see the white people what do they do probably they have this television and they just bought a new one instead of them to pack it up and and, and keep it in the garage they put it in the street walking and it's still very good the the, the, the the old clothes and everything what do they do they leave it there for another person what are they doing they are replenishing so that man that is supposed to go and buy his clothes and does not have money instead of bothering over it the neighbor has helped and has carried out god's assignment and that's why you see the society is blessed the society in respect yes they have their they still have a lot to do but the society you see it i remember many years ago some one man once told us that many, many, many years ago, far back 30, 40 years ago, that they don't sell second-hand car. They just give you the key. Do you want it? Okay, you can have it. Hallelujah. What are they doing? Replenishing the society. So by the grace of God, we are going to trust God for this new season. Yes, there is something in you that needs to flow. Any of God's blessing that is damned does not multiply. So I want you to join us by God's grace this Tuesday. On our Facebook page, 11.55 p.m. and 10.55 UK and West Africa time. Join us for Bible study. We shall be digging deep. And I trust God to help you and help me in Jesus Christ's name. So till I come your way, I remain Vitra this way, Gorio Agum. Please have a wonderful day. Shalom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.